What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here for AKW Q&A once again. This week we're going to be answering the questions you guys left over the past week in my Discord server in the questions for Q&A channel. If you'd like to have a chance to be featured in the next episode of the series, then by all means go to the description, go to my Discord link, join my Discord server and leave as many questions as you'd like in the questions for Q&A channel. Without any further ado, let's get into this week's first question. First question this week is coming from Farthest456, and they asked, will you think AE will be successful with AQW being a mobile app? Um, so what I personally think, and I think I've said this before, is that when a mobile release happens for something as big as like an, an MMORPG or something as big as AQW, uh, a bunch of people will see AQW, just will be exposed to AQW um, when they wouldn't have already. That's fine, honestly, for a mobile platform. Like, as a mobile game, AQW is fine. Honestly, it's a, it's a decent game, I guess. But compared to other, like, PC or desktop games or, you know, like, console games, AQW really falls flat. But honestly, I think AQW being a mobile game will make AQW, just in general, uh, a much more successful product. Not so sure about the Steam release, though, as I've said before. Next question is coming from Hanky Taylor, and they asked... When was AQW at its peak in your opinion? So really for me, AQW was at its peak when I was having fun playing the game and that hasn't really been the case for a while now. Um, but I personally really liked the Friday the 13th events back in 2010. I think there were multiple ones or there was just one or whatever, but that was sort of, you know, when I was like, wow, this game is good. I really like this game. I'm gonna continue playing it sort of thing. And I played it enough to get like a decent enough character at which point that was what kept me playing it, not for the fact that it was a fun game, because honestly, AQW isn't a fun game. So yeah, back back in 2010, I, I suppose, that was that's for me at least, though. This next question is coming from Ninja with a Rocket Launcher, and they asked, you'd mentioned in your previous Q&A video that you don't enjoy games per se at the moment, so which of the games that you've enjoyed in the past do you believe is the most long-living, based on how much and for how long you enjoyed it? So for me, gaming has been like very, it's very easy to, to to tell what games I have enjoyed over the years, you know. Um, for me, I always just find, I, I don't really have like multiple games that I enjoy at once. I sort of have games that I've enjoyed in the past and they will forever, you know, have like a positive, uh, I guess, memory of. For example, a game like Tomb Raider, but it's like a PlayStation 1 game. And if, honestly, if I went back to it today, I'd probably find it boring, but I finished it, played it, whatever, at the time. And therefore I look back on it as a game that's fun and I enjoyed. Um, so I can, but I always have like a single game that just becomes like my obsession. And so for me over the years, it's easy to remember those ones. It was, first it was, I think, AQW. Then it went to, um, sorry, before AQW it was Battlefield 3, or maybe after AQW, I'm not sure. Um, then went from Battlefield 3 to Minecraft. And then Minecraft was like a really big obsession for me that kind of went off and on. You know, it was between Battlefield and Minecraft for a very long time. And then I played Battlefield 4, I loved that game. And then it was from Battlefield 4 to uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, just the Zombies mode in that game. And that was like my absolute crack addiction. Like I had like, I had I've got honestly like over 2,000 hours in um, just Zombies alone in that game. Multiplayer, didn't even play it. Cam campaign, didn't even finish it. But the Zombies mode specifically in that game kept me going for so long. But honestly, um, then I played Zombies in Black Ops 3 and a bunch of other games since then or whatever, but um, Zombies or Minecraft is probably like the most like obsessed I've ever been with, with, with gaming in general. Like that was sort of where I was like, this has just consumed me, especially the Zombies. It was like, this has just consumed my life. Whereas with Minecraft, it was sort of like play survival mode that consumed me. Then I went off it and I was like, oh, multiplayer, play like Hunger Games and stuff. And that sort of con consumed me. Then I went off it. So it kind of came in waves with that. But Zombies and Call of Duty Zombies to this day still whenever there's a new Call of Duty Zombies game comes out I get hyped for before it releases I get hyped you know during the release and as the DLC comes up and just honestly that is just like probably the most Longevity I guess I have with a, with one game or one series of games Call of Duty Zombies probably Our next question is from the Queen of Monsters and they asked which class in your inventory is the best for farming and soloing and I'm gonna kind of switch this up and be like which is the best class or the most I guess the class I go to first when I need a farming or a soloing class. So for me right now, farming's always blaze binder just because it's so reliable, so easy to use, and I just get I can just get whatever boring task that I'm trying to complete done quickly, and I don't have to think about it. 
Whereas with soloing, it's probably Void High Lord because again, I could use Shadow Stalker of Time and make it faster, but uh, Void High Lord for me is just super easy and just whip it out and don't have to think about using it at all and just it's done over with and move, move on to the next sort of mundane task that AKW presents to me. Our next question is from Jay Tato and they asked, what are your thoughts about the new design notes post titled uh, AQ World's Feedback and the Future? So this is a post from Alina. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can read it. I won't read the whole thing here. But she essentially talks about um, how much the community keep like and the dev team interact with each other and how there's a lot of feedback that's given but there's not much that they can do about some of it um, and there are often changes even and I'm guilty of this that players suggest and on the surface it's like you know let's make combat fun and it's like come on A come on AE make AKW fun make combat fun but it's very difficult for them to think all right we got a plan First of all, what do we change currently to make it fun? Identify the problem, identify how to fix the problem, identify how to implement the problem, actually start implementing the problem, fix all the bugs and stuff that come from it. You know, this is, it's a years and years and years of work and it's all just to please that one person who took 10 seconds of their time to just say, yes, this is a problem that I, know, I can see in this game. It's very difficult for AEs and the dev team and stuff. So they basically, they're saying, we appreciate the feedback. We appreciate you guys and we, love uh, the way community interaction is but just remember we're an indie company and we uh we do doing the best we can that's essentially uh what the post was talking about and i honestly like i agree with it and honestly i'm very i guess not necessarily i regret how much i criticize the game but i just sort of wish the community would uh give them a break sometimes would sort of realize that as a situation i try and disclose that i try and you know say in my videos where i am complaining about the game i always try and say you know i don't expect these changes to be implemented I don't expect any of this to be changed. Now, honestly, I, 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 um, I'm just sort of having a conversation, sort of bringing up the issues, sort of making other people aware of it, and honestly, just sort of making content. That's just what I do. I don't expect any of what I suggest to actually be implemented at all. Um, but yeah, I just wish the community would have the same sort of attitude I would. I do. Next question is coming from Hardstock Plat Three, and they asked, "Do you think quests should give more experience instead of just some that are used for farming?" So yeah, 100% think this should this should be implemented. I, I'm really unsatisfied in general with the amount of XP that is rewarded from questing. Um, my personal opinion is that if you complete a quest line, like a, you complete like a big chunk of the storyline in the game, you should have leveled up throughout it. You should have, you know, first Chaos Lord. You should have gained a lot of XP from completing the first Chaos Lord, not just 50 XP here. 200 XP here, 300 XP here. Even though if they multiplied every quest in the game by 10 on the quests, I still think that some quests would still not give enough XP, or some quest lines in general. I th honestly think that XP rewards n should be really large with quest lines, and then maybe just like a little bit of farming after that, so you reach level cap. Not, yeah, get like two levels from an entire quest line, and then farm the next 30 or 40 levels to max to cap. Um, from just killing stuff in one room like you know what I mean like I feel like them allowing their storyline to give rewards not only with the player enjoying the story that's rewarding but also XP rewards that would be a really good way of getting people to play old quest lines and stuff which is a good way of making people actually play the content that's in the game. Our next question is coming from Nick and they asked does Arnex's or Aranx's celestial faction have the potential to become a good alternative or equivalent to say Dage or Nolgath? Um, I think it does have the potential. The character Aranx is nowhere near as interesting as Daedra Nogath, but I think if they give him like some more backstory, um, get some more people like sort of drawn in by it, then I think yeah, it does have the potential. And I'd love for it to be as good as Daedra Nogath to, in terms of you know the stature, uh, the um, status that the items hold, and the sort of I guess high regard that players have for Daedra Nogath. It'd be great to see other factions have that sort of uh, reaction and community sort of approval. Um, like they do get because there's only really Dejan and Nogath and that's pretty much it in terms of the really big factions in AQW. Next question is going from Janko and they asked, do you think there should be a good war? Who should the, t the two sides be? The evil war was great by the way it was Dej versus Nogath. So yeah, like I just mentioned, Celestial Faction, that would have the potential to bring on some sort of, I guess, warring factions, but I think there needs to be another one and 
I don't know. I don't think they. Sh- I think they definitely should be, but I think there needs to be a lot of obviously a lot more preparation and backstory behind the factions that are at war before they think about doing a war, because otherwise a war with no investment would be um, pretty pointless. This next question is from Hayu, Hayu, and they ask, "Do you plan on leaving AKW soon? And if so, why?" Um, honestly, for me, it's just this journey as a AKW YouTuber is is just one that I'm going to continue for as long as I feel satisfied with it. And at the moment, you know, I'm getting real good numbers in terms of, like, view counts and and uh, watch time and sub count and all that sort of thing. It's, it's a real good increase sort of thing. Um, and I'm having a good time making the videos. You guys seem to be enjoying them. And it's overall, it's a positive thing for me personally and for the community. So I'll uh, continue for as long as I physically can. But at the same time, you know, personal commitments are a thing that happens. And, you know... Um, you know, my social life obviously comes before AKW, I'd say, before my YouTube channel. Um, if my YouTube channel was, say, my job or any of, of more significance than simply a hobby, then yeah, it would start to take priority. But honestly, like schoolwork, my social life, my, my real life job, um, lots more things take priority over over my my hobby that is AKW YouTube channel obviously I would love for my YouTube channel to be more than a hobby and I would love for my um, AKW passion to be more than a hobby but it, it is just that it's a hobby so and everyone changes their hobbies everyone gets bored of certain things and everyone um, moves on so until that time comes I will continue because when he asks are you leaving AKW soon AKW is only a part of my life because of me making a, making YouTube videos about it. I've said many times before, I don't play AQW. I play it to get background gameplay. I play it if I need an item for a video. I I am a part of the AQW community because of just that. I like the AQW community. I enjoy interacting with it. I enjoy the, the dev team community interaction. I enjoy a lot of aspects of AQW, but not the gameplay. I don't enjoy playing AQW at all. It's a very boring and honestly... Honestly, literally, I was thinking the other day, if I were to, to name the worst game I've ever played, honestly, I think AKW would be it. Like, no joke. Like, there's, I've played a lot of games. I, I, actually, no, the opposite. I've played very little games in my life, and generally, this the games I do play are, like, AAA titles. So, when I think of, like, the worst game I've ever played, honestly, AKW is easily up there. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully that, that, that'll improve. <laughs> Uh, the next question is coming from To The Max Gamer. They asked, what kind of changes would do you think need to be made for AKW to be popular again? So back in the old days, you know, AKW had a lot more players than it does now, a lot more active players, and they had more servers and all that sort of thing. So yeah, what, what would AE need to do to return it to that glory? Well, for starters, um, back then, back in AKW's glory days, uh, mobile games, uh, not mobile games, browser games, flash games, were not considered to be as bad as they are now. When you think of a flash game, as a normal gamer, if you think of a Flash game, you're thinking of games like, you know, Gravity Guy. You're thinking of games like RuneScape. Maybe not even RuneScape, because it's sort of evolved past that point, but games like Gravity Guy, games like, you know, Cookie Clicker, like, just shitty games, like, just casual garbage games. And if when you talk about AQW, it's the same sort of thing, you know, it's the same sort of, sta- it's the same sort of status as Club Penguin. Club Penguin's great, you know, but it's not, you know, Club Penguin is not like the same sort of game as that you'd like to compare it to like WoW, for example. Whereas AQW almost not necessarily competes with WoW, but is in the same sort of conversation as a game like WoW. And so if AQW wants to be taken more seriously and become more popular, it needs to evolve past this sort of, I guess, stigma that is Flash games and online browser games. And so it needs to not necessarily evolve out of being a browser game, but perhaps become more than just a browser game, more than just a casual Club Penguin-esque you know, casual MMO. I mean, it might not even need to be, it might not need to remove that status. It might just need to be a a good casual browser <laughs> MMORPG. Because as I said, it's probably the worst game I've ever played because it's just super fucking boring. So if it became anything more than just a boring casual MMO browser RPG game, then yeah, it, it, that would return it to its former glory, I suppose, in terms of popularity. Our next question is coming from GamerBoy36, and they asked, if AKW is now yours, so as in I own AKW, what is the first thing you'd do with it? What is the first thing you'd change? So for me, this is, again, like I said, AKW's gameplay is boring, so I'd, if I could just magically change anything, I'd change the gameplay. I'd um, make it more team-focused, more 
uh, satisfying, less lag, all that sort of thing, that would be great, and just make the gameplay fun, and uh, make questing satisfying yet challenging, I guess, I don't know, there's just generic sort of MMORPG concepts that I'd love to um, make AQW into, if that makes sense, like, you know, f satisfying and yet challenging questing, um, interesting and fun and challenging gameplay, uh, no lag. <laughs> Just general stuff like that I think AKW is missing, that I think AKW needs. This question's from Albert, they asked, why do you think AA removed servers like Cicero and Zoom, and do you think they'll ever come back? Um, so they removed them because every server that they keep online they have to pay for, and so removing a server means that they pay for one less server. And so when they look at their player base and they're like, well, we're not even getting enough people to justify using or paying for all these servers, they have to cut costs somewhere, and just so happened that Cicero and Zoom were those cost cuts. That's my that's my presumption. It's what, what I think probably happened, but it might be different. You never know. Um, and will they ever come back? Well, if that was the case, then the, the thing that would that would that it would take for them to come back would be for the player base to suddenly increase to where it was before or higher, at which point AE would be like, all right, all the servers are full. Um, we need more servers. Let's bring back Cicero and Zoom. Well, they might not bring back Cicero and Zoom, but, you know, they'd add more servers, perhaps, maybe. Never know. AE does some funny stuff. They do some weird stuff, so you never know. Next question is from Miko, and they asked, how do you think the entire game would change if AE removed these two features? Mana, uh, mage type mana regeneration, as in like, you know, the mana regeneration where if you crit, you're pretty much regenerating all your mana. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. And uh, mana vamps, if they removed those two, two things. And if they replaced that with more supportive type classes that can provide mana or improve mana regen, such as Stone Crusher and Healer. Um, I'm all for removing um, mindless mechanics and turning them into... Um, uh, active mechanics, I suppose. If okay, when what I mean by that is them. So mana regeneration, mage type mana regeneration. That is a a mindless mechanic. You don't have to think about the fact you're regenerating mana, right? You don't have to think about your mana regeneration when you're playing. Um, so that's a mindless mechanic. But if they removed that and replaced it with a class that would have to support you with mana, then that is replacing something you don't have to think about and replacing it with something you do have to think about. You've immediately made the game more complex, more interesting, and potentially much better. Now, this obviously this would require a lot of balance changes and a lot more other stuff added in, so don't go off at me in the comments about how bad it would be or whatever for a plethora of detailed reasons. I'm just saying, as a general concept, removing mechanics that are mindless and replacing them with mechanics that are not mindless is, I think, generally a good thing. If implemented correctly, it would make it would, would this would make AKW better. Our next question is coming from Nobody, and they asked, would you rather use classes that are not that good to make your gameplay harder and more interesting, or go with the OP classes to make things easier? For me, um, not that good classes. They are more interesting to use, but even the most fun class in the game, Card Clasher, even that's still boring. I'm still not having fun when using Card Clasher. By comparison to all the rest of the classes in the game, it's way better. But still, the most fun class in the game is still boring. Therefore, what's my what's what, what's the deal then? Because for, for me, I'm sitting there. No matter what class I'm using, I'm bored. So, by that, with that in mind, I'm just going to use whatever class gets that boring bullshit out of the way quicker. So. To answer the question, I'm going to use classes that are OP because OP classes make boring things happen less or happen more quickly. Therefore, I'm bored for less time. For me, it's all about calculating how long I'm going to be bored for and uh, working out you know, what class do I use to make me bored for less time. That's literally just it when I play AQW. And, that's, and I only ever play AQW when it's for a video. So. The worst part of making a video for me is having to record background gameplay, hence why this video, I'm probably just recycling old background gameplay that you've seen in another video. This question is coming from Ram. They asked, do you think AE should revive the Blood Rut Brawl by adding moving AI companions where they siege each other periodically, or by adding other stuff to revive the game mode? For me, Blood Rut Brawl has always been 
kind of garbage. Okay, well, this is a dumb... You're asking the wrong person here because if you go through all of my videos on my, my both my channels, you'll notice I've never made videos about PvP because PvP fucking sucks and I hate it um, for reasons that others probably don't even experience, one of which is ping, for me. Um, AKW is hosted, I believe, in Eastern United States. So with that in mind, my ping is always going to be like 250 or more because I live in New Zealand. And so, with that sort of delay, plus AKW's a laggy piece of shit, plus Flash sucks and probably doesn't translate ping as well as like other services, there's a lot of delay, a lot of lag, and that's just one thing, plus PvP's unbalanced as shit, and it's just awful in that respect, and uh, there's, just, there's just many reasons why PvP is bad, so if you're, you're asking me what, what would they need to change to make Blood Rat Brawl better, like goddamn dude, there's a lot of stuff they need to change to make Blood Rat Brawl better, better. Um, honestly, Blood Rat Brawl for me is just a place where people go to kill each other. I don't know, man. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> this question is going from Flyery or Flurry? Flyery? I don't know. They asked, Do you like the idea of having interchangeable skills for every class? What I mean by this is players can alternate between two different options for each active skill and passive skill, allowing for class customization. This would obviously take a long time to implement and even longer to create new skills for every class in the game. Perhaps after the server rewrite comes around, the devs could test this mechanic with the four starter classes. Do you feel like this addition would make more classes fun to use? And would you suggest a different approach? I really like this idea. Honestly, I really, really like this idea. Making AKW more complex is one of the ways that they can make it more fun. Um, as I've always said, games that make you think and games that are challenging are fun and uh, having more abilities or having different combinations of abilities is a way to make the game more complex and more fun, I think. Um, so while I don't know how they'd implement this or to what extent or you know any of the details of whether this would actually make it more fun, I'm very, very much for this change. Like I'd love for this change to happen. Um, I'd love to see this in game, just to see maybe it would make the game fun. I don't know though, but uh, yeah, no, I I like the idea. Let's let's just see if they uh, if they'd actually do it well. Then I guess. <laughs> this next question is coming from Veno, and they asked, "Do you encourage players to purchase extra space?" So he's asking about inventory space, by the way. Um, and generally, I'd say, as a new player, the starting inventory space is garbage. Um, I, I was. My, uh, my one of my good friends from real life that plays like M other MMORPGs recently started like playing AKW just like kind of casually just sort of checked it out sort of after all these years of me uh, making videos on it and him talking shit about it he was like alright I might as well actually just try this game see how uh, how it is and uh, he was not surprised by how bad it was um, but one of the things he did notice one of the big problems that he had as a new player was his inventory space and generally just like picking up items when you first start you're like oh, yeah, I'll accept this, I'll accept this, I'll accept this, whatever and all of a sudden you're out of inventory space and it's very annoying and it's, the game doesn't really communicate to you like what items are valuable and such in a meaningful way um, and so it's very difficult for a new player because of how little inventory space you have and also classes take up inventory space which was very odd for him as a WoW player um, and as a player of other MMORPGs to think of classes as like items. For me, that's all I ever know, have known, but uh, I guess that does kind of make sense, you know, your classes should be separate from your inventory, but yet, one, you have a small inventory in AKW, and two, some of it's taken up by classes, so it's like, yeah, I mean, but back to the question, do I encourage players to purchase extra space? I mean, no, but... Honestly, ideally, AKW would just have more inventory space for starting players because it's annoying as fuck, but um, I'd say that it depends for each player because if you're farming Nolgath stuff, then yeah, it's ridiculous to try and do that with starting, you know, free player inventory space. You know, you have hardly any room for Nolgath items and Nolgath items, you, Nolgath items take up heaps of space trying to farm Nolgath stuff. So yeah, I mean... Um, I guess it depends on the situation, depends on what you're trying to farm, depends on what you want to do with your account. Next question is coming from Ludfuck, and they asked, do you think the game has been going uphill or downhill from, say, three years ago? Um, I'd say downhill, honestly. Um, although recently, you know, with the recent... Well, kind of recently, with the server rewrite and stuff, I think it's a really good step, it's a step in the right direction for AKW. Um, and honestly, something like the server rewrite is the only thing that really has sort of kept 
me invested and I guess hopeful for the future of AKW. I'd still, I guess, be invested, but I, um, I'm hopeful that AKW could one day become a good game. Um, but for now, it's sort of like, we're in its current state, it's kind of dog. It's a pretty shitty game, as I said in the video earlier. Um, but yeah, it's going down, it's been going downhill if you compare right now to three years ago, but hopefully in say six months time, a year's time when the server rewrite's finally done. I don't know when it is going to be done by the way, but that's just my guess. Um, yeah, hopefully it will be better than three years ago, but you never know. Just fingers crossed, I guess, is the only attitude you can have. And finally, we have a very cheerful question coming from someone by the name of Dukes, or D Docs, not Dukes, I'd say Dukes, but I don't know. Um, and they asked, do you think the game is dying? Um, to define dying, I'd say the game uh, becoming worse over time, or maybe losing its player base. I don't know, it's, it's, I know it's a very generic statement to make, but I kind of do think the game is dying, but also, I don't think the game is dead. A lot of people do like to make the statement and jump to the conclusion that AKW is dead, but it's not dead until the servers are offline, and last time I checked the servers weren't offline, so, and players are still playing and talking about this game, so it's not dead. Um, but it's, I do think that at its current rate, eventually AKW will be dead, so by definition, Yes, I believe AKW is dying, but AKW isn't gonna, A isn't letting it die. They're not gonna let it go down uh, in, in, in flames. They're gonna try and keep it alive, I suppose. So that's good to hear, but in its current state, it's dying. But um, yeah, I, I mean, other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I, sorry about sounding a bit quiet near the end here. Um, I have to record this kind of late at night. My parents are trying to sleep in the room next to me, so I'm, I'm trying to keep my voice down for them. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.